My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, today, this morning, there's been a bit of a controversy uh, flooding the internet, you know, wherever you get your news from, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, the TV, the radio, wherever you get your news, there's been a bit of a recent commotion uh, where Hunter Biden, a uh, close relative of Joe Biden, you know, our, our current president, uh, Hunter Biden has been found and is facing backlash for addressing his white lawyer using the n-word and using several other racist racial jokes towards him in private messaging now before i go into this video i want to make it expressively clear that i am not a trump supporter i'm not saying i'm anti-biden i consider myself more on the left side but this has nothing to do with politics you know regardless regardless of what side you're on i feel like you should still be able to take an individual's actions and reprimand them for him whether you support them or not now i got these i got these juicy dms pulled up why, why, why don't we take a look at these guys why don't we take a little a little deep dive into these dms uh, well thank you michael cohen his lawyer sends him a middle finger for some reason oh and you too how much money do i owe you because you better not be charging me Hennessy rates. Said I just made that phrase up, by the way. I should have nad your language. Clever son of a gun, the lawyer says. It's wasted on you. Apparently you do. That's what I'm saying, N-I dot dot dot. He sends an image. Don't know what that image is because this is just a screenshot. Apparently it's a picture of himself because the lawyer asks why he's so tan. Then he says, OMG, uh, insert racial slur. Did you just a fictional character from, this guy's grammar isn't too 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 hot either. Then he says, my dead brother's unconditional love is what I should rely on and my kids aren't children George. He says, my parents' love was conditioned, but then he replies with, my penis as of late has been unconditional. I'm not even going to comment there. And then he says, that's why we are searching. And then he says, for my penis. Is this really how you talk to a lawyer? Is this, am I missing something? Have I been like not taught? you know, professional behavior? Is, is this how people talk typically to legal professionals who have been trained within the court of law? He says, it's big penis, George. It's big penis, George. They always find it. And then he says, th this, this is what he says. He says, and I only love you because... Hmm, okay. He's saying this to a white lawyer, by the way. And then Hunter Biden says, true dat? Wow! Wasn't expecting that one, but I'm done with my rant. Well, that's interesting. And there's no, uh, there's no verification that these screenshots have not been forged, photoshopped, faked, etc. But, but I kind of, kind of wouldn't be surprised if they were not. Again, I'm not against any of the people here that I've listed. I'm not taking any political stance. Okay. And it also doesn't make a lot of sense to me how these were leaked in the first place because these are screenshots taken from a first person perspective. These screenshots are taken from the perspective of somebody who sent them. So I don't know how that even came to be. And, and a conversation with a lawyer typically, if they're discussing legal proceedings and things like that, it, it typically isn't uh, delivered in ways like this where it could be so easily exploited. I mean, or exposed rather. So I'm not saying, you know, whether these are definitely or definitely not real, but this is just what I have found, okay? This is just what I have seen floating around the internet, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Apparently, this conversation happened in December 2018, you know, late 2018, so, you know, it's not not necessarily anything that would have affected any pre pre presidency if it were to happen, you know, now. But that's just, that's just messed up. That's just messed up. Why would you talk? Why would you talk to anybody like that? But let alone a lawyer, a lawyer. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about this. The fact that he referenced his deceased brother in this entire fit is also kind of questionable as well. Kind of pretty disrespectful too, if, especially when you're using that language within the same sentence as ref referencing your deceased family members. Just not something too too very honorable at least in my opinion. And this doesn't really help Joe's situation either, especially with everything that's been going on within the past week. And you know how Kamala's like going to like some other country. I don't remember where she's going, but she's going to some other country and a lot of people don't like it. There's just th this family organization, people around Joe are just not doing the best things right now, at least within the eyes of the people. I, I can't really speak on it, but I can speak on this individual situation, which is not, <laughs> not good at all. But I guess I just share that with you guys. See you. See you guys whenever.